who are you and what is your role? My name is Dr. Peter Gershon. I'm a senior professor in television production at Hofstra University in the Department of Radio, Television, and Film. I've been a professor here for 16 years. Um, I'm also the executive producer of the 11th annual Friends of Max Kolb Telethon. The telethon was started in 2001 in honor and memory of a deceased RTVF student named Max Kolb. Um, his very close friend, Laura Fu, started the telethon, and she was in my advanced television production class. All of the students in that class are required to write a proposal for an original show. For her original show, she created the idea of using an old fundraising form, which is a telethon, a TV show in which viewers call in, and she thought it would be nice to use that to raise money to put in the scholarship that Max's parents established in Max's name. How is the production coming okay. along? The production is coming along quite nicely. There are a lot of, uh, a number of very complex, different kinds of tasks that are involved. They have to, of course, create the show. They have a rough idea of what the format is because it, it's similar from year to year. Um, they had to recruit bands to play live because it's a live music show. Yeah. We'll have six bands on. They'll be producing, they'll be playing two songs each. The show is 90 minutes in length. It will go on, on it's an odd time. It goes live on a Sunday night at 10 o'clock and it goes to 11.30. Um, we have to have people answering the phones. We have to have people go out ahead of time and get premium thank you gifts to give away and you can see behind Alicia there's a there's all those boxes on the table what are. do uh, what do some of them include um uh, this year we've got a bunch of different kinds of things we have we have Mets tickets we have a number of uh, alumni who work for the Mets so we got a number of different Mets tickets we yesterday got a beautiful backpack from ABC I'm not sure what's in there but I think there's a blanket and a few other odds and ends and so since you're interviewing me through the blog <laughs> let's take a, a look right now we'll see what's in here we just got this it is a backpack from Good Morning America and this way we have sound it's like you know radio yeah, yeah. I know you're not doing this radio but it's good to have sound bites and, and, and here you can hear me unzipping the yeah. backpack Let's see what's in here. Well, okay, this is from ABC News. It appears to be, oh, it's a, uh, what do you call it? It's a, um, a US, um, oh, nice. USB a flash drive. Thank you. With a little thing that says ABC News. Isn't that lovely? And there are, let's see what else is in here. I don't know. So you're finding this out in real wow. time, just like I am. Of course, I'm going to break this in the attempt to absolutely open it. Um, it's something, something's in there, and we'll <laughs> see what else is in here. There's a blanket, and the blanket says, beautiful blanket. The blanket is Happy Holidays from the Good Morning American Anchors, Robin George, Sam, Josh, and Lara, Bianca, Dan, and Ron. So it's a Good Morning America blanket. Um, what we'd normally throw, I guess, call a car blanket, you know, yeah. the kind of thing you keep in the back of the car. So Something is do, people, uh, do people bid for these? How does it work? Well, instead of, it's not an auction. Okay. What, they, what we will do is, what was in the box? A mag globe clock and frame. Oh my goodness, nice. a Maglo clock and frame, isn't that lovely? Um, what we will do is we will evaluate all this, which means we will sit down with the producers and we'll say, what do we think is a fair value for that? What could we get for that? If we price it too high, no one will want it. If we price it too low, we'll kick ourselves because we could have gotten a few more dollars for it. Every item that we procure ahead of time, and it includes this, there's some gift baskets over there, there's some CDs, there's some DVDs, uh, somebody gave us some books to give away, brand new merchandise. Um, we have some Hofstra t-shirts. We have a, a variety of things. Um, every item we get is, is, we set the value on it, and every single penny that the telethon raises goes to the scholarship. We take no money for operating costs. Yeah. The students bear those operating costs, interestingly enough. Yeah. The department yeah. helps out a little bit, but basically it's out of the students' pockets. Um, so we'll decide that Somebody might pay $75 for this backpack yeah. with all the Good Morning America stuff in it, but they wouldn't pay $400 for it. Yeah. So 75 might be a better, we might yeah. get rid of it at 75 and we always have the ability later in the show to mark it down and let it go for 50 Yeah. So we have a lot of different kinds of prizes, and those yeah. are really thank you gifts for giving money to the telethon, and the money given to the telethon is given to the scholarship. Yeah. Um. So how many calls... You know, are you expecting how many did you receive last year? Do you know? Or? I can't even begin to answer how many times the phone rang. It rang a lot last year. 
Um, nor do I, I never from year to year can tell how many times the phone's going to ring. We raised, um, we raised a lot of money last year. It, that varies from year to year. It depends on the economy. It depends on how active the publicity has been. I really, it's very hard for me to ever predict in advance. But I, the, the question I can answer a little more accurately is, every year the telephone team sits down with me and one of the first questions, because it's in, it's in, it's part of this advanced production class, and so a team of people who want to work on it will be appointed, and I'll give them some other folks to work with, and yeah. I'll make up a, a seven-person team, five-person team like that. And one of the first questions they always ask me is, what are your financial goals? And truthfully, in 11 years, I've never had one. Yeah. The first year that Laura Fu decided to do this in, in her friend Max's honor, I thought if we raise a couple of dollars, it'll be a nice thing people get to do good while doing a good show mm -hmm. um, we've been very very successful over 10 years we have raised over $42,000 Wow! and as a result of that the Max Kolb scholarship is unique in the school of communication in that his scholarship is the only non-static scholarship and what, is, what that means is when people say let's say you want uh, you want to establish a scholarship in your grandfather's name, mm -hmm. right? Um, you, you, you put money in the scholarship, and every university has a base minimum. Typically, the base minimum is about $15,000. Mm -hmm. And you put fifteen or twenty or whatever the base minimum is, and the way the scholarship works is the interest is what's awarded every year, not the principal. The principal sits in a bank somewhere and earns 5% or whatever, and that money, the interest, is what's given away for the scholarship. The more money that there is in the scholarship, the more money can be given away for each individual year's scholarship. Um, most scholarships get established, and whatever the initial event or the thing that was being honored or the person being honored, whatever the initial money that was dumped in there, that's all the money that ever goes in. Right. Most scholarships stay very static, unless the university climbs up and says, We've established a scholarship in Peter Calico's name. He's a guy who's given us millions of dollars for buildings, and he helps with our presidential debates. And this is the Calico Scholarship, and we're going to have a big gala every year, and we're going to raise a million dollars for the Calico Scholarship. Unless the university does that, 99% of all the scholarships in every department get an amount put in, and they stay static, and that's the amount of scholarship. In the School of Com, that's just as true as everywhere else on campus. The Kolb Scholarship is unusual because it's non-static. It started with, I think, $15,000, and we've raised an additional $42,000. Wow. And as a result, there is $57,000 in there, which means that every year we can award more money and to more students. Wow. That's a long answer, though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, <laughs> nice, perfect. Um, is, this, is this year's going to be the best ever? <laughs> um, it will be a great show. We never know from year to year how yeah. much money will come in. We don't know how many calls come in. It's very unpredictable. I can tell you it's going to be a terrific show. Yeah. And I can tell you that the student producer is a young woman named Ashley Adam. And she is just about one of the best I've worked with. She's absolutely terrific and done an amazing job. The set's going to look gorgeous. We've got some great bands. That's the part I know ahead of time. Perfect. And when is it, Aaron? And it what channel? It is going to be Sunday. Um, can I have the fact sheet? Oh. It's going to be on <laughs> Sunday, May 6th, this Sunday. It's going to start 10 o'clock at night. For anybody on campus, they can watch it on the cable system, on the campus cable, on channel 34. Or you can watch it online at www htvilive.com. And they can, everyone anywhere in the world can watch it. And yeah. we do have, by the way, we typically have about 300 plus viewers and sometimes higher every year online.